poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Yeah, that movie by me. That was my shit. <laughs> what's going on, Air Signs? Hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tira channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I make us little, make us lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? This will be a special edition. It's called the Fuck This Aries Full Moon Energy Looking Like. Small, slight check-in. I don't like putting the signs together. However, I am still doing personal readings and things of that nature around my free time, okay? Or around my personal life, rather. So, I'd say, um, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy this, okay? It's because I love you. Also, Aquarius, 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 you guys will be going live as far as your October generals go. I am also uh, recording generals, so some of y'all may see the same shit on. <laughs> In my general video, it means that Mocha is using her time wisely. Um, this is a per this is a general reading. It's not personal, okay? So if you do need, do need a personal reading, I am for 72 hours only. It started yesterday, okay? But I'm extending it all the way to Thursday so that everybody can get in on it, okay? But it is going to be $15 off of all of, well, not all of my readings. 30 minute, 45 minute, and the hour reading, okay, until Thursday midnight. So even if you don't actually get the reading done until Friday, still get your payment and everything done, get scheduled in for th before Thursday, okay? Um, also, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We only dysfunctional up in this mug, but we love each other, okay? That is our purpose here, positive vibes only. We don't fuss. We do cuss. Okay, but we leave that fuss and shit on somebody else's channel because Mocha don't play that shit. We don't do that, okay? We family up in here. We do grow, we share, we love, we evolve, okay? And no, this is a no, no, no flex, no judgment zone. We don't do that, all right? I will uh, please appreciate it if someone does timestamp, y'all. Please timestamp, okay? Um, and I'm going in the order of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, all right? So we rocking. Let's get it. First up. My Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini, yeah. What's going on, Geminis? <laughs> all right, well, let me first say, um, energetically, for all three air signs, I feel like this Aries full moon is allowing us to go through a season of the new, okay? Of the new, but in order to get to the new, we got to first visit the season of the re. Okay, so I do see some exes coming back Apollo line. I do. I, I see that. I see the Apollo line energy. It's like an apology, but not really clarity or accountability for some people. So be aware of that. Okay, um, I am still going to be doing the October generals. All right. However, um, I'm trying to get this up first. Okay, we rock it. So for all of my air signs, the general energy is being able to receive y'all, y'all give, a lot of y'all give, 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 and during this time, spirit is calling for you to be able and open to receiving in the order and the way that you give, okay, and so I feel like <laughs> some of y'all are dealing with past life connections, okay, past life karma, you closing up those karmic cycles, Aries being first, so that means the wheel is returning and we're starting over, okay, so for some of you all, you're going to run into dealing with the person who broke your soul. This person could have been your damn weakness, but you found your biggest strength in dealing with whomever these people are, okay? So we rocking, right? But for some of you, it did involve a third-party situation, and now that you're restructuring your life, you're actually seeing, you know, you're seeing the rainbow at the end of the uh, at the end of the storm, and you're just like, hell yeah, like this is <laughs> this is everything. However, then boom, somebody comes in and you know shakes your world up. All right, with Gemini's, I do feel like this is definitely faded. Okay, during this energy, some faded events are going to be happening. It's infinite. A lot of you guys may be seeing five 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 a lot. I am seeing um. Some of you guys are definitely, definitely in a space where you know you're needing to take a leap of faith. However, you just really kind of being in your head about it. And you're not, it's like you're living in a world of, I've already put my world together, okay? I've already put my world together, but the thoughts, the thoughts, every now and then they ruminate and they come, they come to me, you know, in a space, while I'm in a space of healing, but they come to me to remind me of where I've been. Or people that you're interacting with are going to remind you and, you know, resurface up emotions of past traumas and things of that nature. And what you you need to heal from. Okay, so I do see during this time, some of y'all are literally walking away from the past. Okay, some of you guys, some of you guys could be walking from 
walking away from a Pisces, okay, in the past or a Sagittarius. I strongly feel like you guys walked away from this person because you actually just want to restructure yourself. I feel like you just want better, okay? I honestly feel like some of y'all were also dealing with an Aries, okay, or a Virgo. You walked away from this person because you looked at them as being very, very, very very arrogant. They very controlling. Some of y'all are definitely walking away from narcissistic people. You've been trying to be patient in the relationship, but you're not coming to realization that you're not giving me what it is that I truly want. And I feel like me staying here unhappy is not in return going to be able to give you what you truly need from me. So it's really just allowing ourselves to just really kind of close the doors mentally, emotionally, and physically for some, because I feel like a lot of y'all have mentally left the building with some people. But during this time, some of y'all are going to be physically. It's like you you already, your head is out the damn building, but your body has yet to follow. Here it come, okay? For some of you all, it, I feel like there's a reconciliation, okay, of a family situation. This could involve an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you may have a family with this person. For some of y'all, you're going to be wanting to communicate. You're going to be communicating, look, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I want to go out and I want to be happy. I want to take this leap of faith, okay? I understand your offer. Your offer is beautiful and I appreciate it or whatnot. However, you know, you're all, you're coming to me still in the form of a night. We ain't kids. We grown as fuck. What I would accept five years ago, eight years ago, eight months ago, I'm not the same Gemini. I'm not the same person. So you're going to have to come with it. Or oh, I'm going to have to get ghosts because I'm not with the shits. Some of y'all, okay, could have possibly moved away from a Pisces. And this person, I feel like they're coming back during this time and they're offering you what it is that you needed at first. Some of you all just wanted to be the boss of your own damn life. You really want to just run shit the way you want to run shit. However, you allowed this person to kind of trample over your feelings and you really didn't communicate during this time. Here comes communication. Some of y'all going to take the leap of faith, say what you got to say and be ready for whatever comes after, which you have no fear because what comes after is the magician, baby. You recreate your life. You recreate your world. And for those people who don't want to get with the program, they ass can get lost. This is the energy that Gemini is walking in during this time and it's faded because I feel like some of y'all have been not really floor mats, but allowing people to get away with shit because they know emotionally, you know, you are, they are your weakness. And so people going to only do what you allow them to do, period. But it's your world. What you going to do? What you going to do, Geminis? Okay. So that's what I have for you guys during this time. And I'm going to check back in on the first. If you need that personal reading, hit me up. Get your cell. Get your special on. Okay? All right. So we rolling on to Libra. Oh, Libra. Decisions. Decisions. And one of them also involves receiving. Being able to receive. Okay? Being able to receive. Some of y'all, I feel, are fixated on being needed. And so now the people are coming back and they're giving to you. You're like, what the hell? Oh, no. It, say it ain't so. Yes. Yes, it is. Who put the cookies in the cookie jar? You ain't stealing. They was getting it. They was giving to you. Libra like, no. I ain't do that. Yes, you did. You know, because them cookies was your cookies. That was for you. Okay. Maybe that was a horrible analogy, but it sounded good. Whatever. All right, let's get it. Uh, <laughs> I strongly see somebody, possibly um, uh, someone who you do, who, who you dealt with in the past, okay? This person could have put you in a third-party relationship, all right? I strongly feel some of y'all actually walked away from this person and focused on your money, and your money looks swell, okay? So now that deceptive energy is coming back, they want to they want to give you their cup. They want to offer you, you know, some form of newness. They want to reconcile. They want to put the work in a relationship. They want to move away from the past issues and leave where you like... Oh, some stuff I still don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm going to make a decision next week. Maybe next month. I'm going to just not talk about it because I don't know. Libra, people do change. Were you the same? Are you the same today as you was a year ago? For some of you all, it definitely involves, okay, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're dealing with another air sign, I feel like you walked away from this person. This person didn't give you any clarity. But some of you, somebody who made you feel, who pretty much broke your soul, here they come. Here they come and they want to offer you newness. For some of you all, it's the Leo. 
Okay, for some of you all, um, it is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like if you're dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they want to move forward. They literally want to start over. Okay, they see you as someone that they can actually invest in and come in and whoop their ass enough to, to let them know that they need to water their own damn grass. But some of you all, it's a, it's just a choice that you have to make. But some of you all, I do see you just remaining single and not taking any new offers and just completely moving away from offers, love, and all of that shit, and just focusing on healing and growth. Good shit. But don't block your blessings, okay? Stay receiving, okay? How are you going to manifest and ask spirit of the universe to give you something, okay? And then when it comes back around, because some of y'all manifested this person back into your world. You asked spirit for this. Rather, you was hurting in the midst of healing and you wanted this, okay? So just because you changed your mind don't mean spirit changed their mind. So hit this person go because for some of you all, this is a karmic lesson for you all. And some of you all are also breaking generational curses as far as family situations, okay, and allowing yourself to accept and allow third party energy, which is why you have someone new for some of y'all. Somebody, some of y'all have new Leos. Some of y'all have new earth signs. Some of y'all have new water signs coming in your life, but you may have to move away from the thought, the emotion, the physical attachment, the hole that maybe a fire sign or another air sign has on you, okay? You got to let it go, baby, because the most high spirit angels you know beloved they, they working together to try and bless you baby they want to give you this, this they want to give you this nine of cups for some of you all you wanted to have a baby okay and whomever you were trying to have a baby with in the past this person put you in a third party situation blue smoke up your ass told all kind of lies yeah it hurt it hurt and don't think the mocha is talking to you emotionless because I've been there. I've lived in that place for so long to allow myself to free myself because it don't feel good. And no one person should have that much of power over you, your soul, your mind, your spirit, your physical movements, none of that. Okay? So be open to receiving. Some of y'all, it could have been an earth sign who got down and hurt your feelings. You moved away from this person and then boom. You get what I'm saying? Your blockage that you felt like you had. On finances, boom. It's about how you look at it. And everybody's not worth eating with you at the winning table. Don't hold on to people who don't want to be kept. And if you allow them to come back and be optimistic, trust yourself in what you feel. If you feel that familiar ass, third party ass energy, choose yourself. Get the fuck up and say, oh no, this is not for me. Save that drama for your mama. I ain't with the shit though. Okay? Make a decision to choose yourself and choose your happiness, the true happiness that you feel like you deserve. But the ultimate thing is making the decision to for the re, renewing, restructuring, receiving, releasing, and forgiving. Here it come. No worries. Just like I told Jim, not as mutual energy for all the air signs. You're the magician. What you worry about it for? You got two paths. You can go back, start over, be happy, unapologetically, without feeling like, okay, I'm stupid because I went back and everybody going to say, fuck them people. They going to talk rather you broke, ball and whatever. They going to talk. Fuck them. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. My mama's a Gemini. She's the, I used to live by that because she did. Okay? They going to talk. Fuck them. Unapologetically, your truth, what you want. Other people can't walk your path. They can't walk in your shoes. And if they could, half of them would have been a bend and fail. What you want? Okay? You can have it. But it's about your mindset to recreate it. What you going to allow? What you going to do? Aries for a moment is about movement. Passion starting over. To reclaim what was took, what was lost, babe. It's yours. It's your world. Do what you want to do. Come on, jam session. I can't tell you. <laughs> Who the sock to? Hey, it's your thing, boo boo. What you talking about? What you ain't making a decision for? Kick them damn swords. Good, bro. Sis, if you don't get to kicking them damn swords out your way, stand upright and walk with your little sashay. Cause Libra's a little fancy. That's why I love them. Y'all like Aries in some sense with the with the sashay. Confidence. Collective confidence. You did that. Kick them damn swords. Let's rock. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. How you doing? 
<laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me light my incense. Aquarius, the energy that I feel for you guys and the what I heard for you guys after meditating on each individual energy was transformation. And what I got for you all spiritually, the mother wanted to communicate during this time. Heal. This Aries full moon, the fuck this Aries full moon looking like for Aquarius? Real healing like. Really healing like. Okay? Time of healing. Let's heal. All right. Let's rock. All right. So for my Aquarius. Yeah. Some of you guys are healing from a situation. Past life karma for Aquarius. I did. I'm sure 100% sure it's past life. Okay. For some of you, it's a past partner, but this partner could also be past life karmic connections. Okay. I am feeling the energy of healing. Some of you guys need to heal from some sort of father figure. This could be the father of your children. This could be the fa your father. Okay. This could be an in-law, a brother, but some of you definitely have um, an energy around the father figure, okay, that you're needing to heal, okay? This could be actually abandonment or feeling like you are allowing certain energy to, to resurface in your life, okay, as far as your love based on the connection that you had to your father, okay? Some of y'all feel like your father abandoned you, so you're holding on to that, and that, babe, that's preventing you from having your nine of cups. That's preventing you, okay, from transforming. Some of you all are dealing with somebody who wants to have a family, and they're going to walk away from you because you don't even, you're not thinking about commitment, love, kids, none of that shit, even though your heart desires that. Your mind and your heart during this time, I'm not going to cry. Your mind and your heart during this time is at war, Aquarius. It's at war. Full-fledged war. And the universe, spirit is trying to bless you with good karma, baby, to let you, allow you to move away from that path. Okay, for some of you, you're dealing with the Libra. Okay, for some of y'all, it's a Virgo. And for some of y'all, it's a Cancer or a Pisces. But I feel like you're trusting your intuition. Some of you just pretty much know that this vibration of healing is going to come beat your dough down. And baby, you're trying to run. You're trying to run emotionlessly. But this Aries full moon is going to restore that emotion. It's going to shift and push you into a period of transformation, babes. Okay, I do see for some of you all, you have a Scorpio that you were dealing with coming back to offer you your love. You keep trying to give this person your cup, but you're not giving them the full potential as far as how you can fully love them. For some of y'all, it's a Pisces. This person is giving, 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 giving to you. And they're needing for you to accept. But you first have to accept what are you afraid of? What's your fear? What's this underlining, this underlining thought or 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 feeling that's keeping you from moving forward because you can have whatever you like. For some of you, it's the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want this from you, but you keep moving away. This person could have put you in a third-party situation. And I feel like for some of you, it wasn't even the fact that they put you in a third-party situation. To be honest with you, some of y'all, this was your get-out-of-jail-free card. Your ass wanted feelings and all that. I ain't give it to you. They went out and had a family or did something very, very, very deceptive to you. But for some of you all, they told you. And it's like your soul wants to receive this person. Your soul wants to have this. But your thoughts are living in a place where you ain't just you ain't gonna do nothing but the same shit you did. You ain't gonna do nothing but cheat. You ain't gonna do nothing but just up. You ain't gonna do nothing. Why? Why? What are you afraid of? Because this is your outcome with the damn all y'all. First off, y'all are the only ones that got all major arcana. Only card that's not a damn major icon in y'all reading was the Page of Cups. Every damn thing else was majors. So this is faded. This is destined. Oh, it's going to happen. For some of you all, it's with an Aries. For some of you all, it's with the Sagittarius. For some of you all, I see Leo. I show see Scorpio. And Libra's in the building and so is Virgo. And so is Cancer. So is another Aquarius as well. Healing. Healing. Speak up. Out of everything I see here, you know what I don't see here, swords? You're not talking about it. you keeping everything close to your chest. You're needing to heal internally so that you will take that leap of faith and go be happy. They trying to set you up. Spirit trying to set you up for happiness. Only you can stand in your way. I feel a slight sense of depression. 
Some of y'all could possibly be walking away from marriages during this time. And it has to do with the love that you're giving. For some of you all, for a lot of y'all spirits say it's cold. It's cold. When y'all are not cold people, y'all are very loving people. You're needing to heal. You're needing to heal and love fully, unapologetically, fearlessly. You're needing to love and you're needing to accept love. And anybody who can't give it to you or only want to give it to you in the form of a third party, know that you do not have to allow or accept that. It's a very healing time because you saw your mother, your sister, your grandmother go through this with your father. Yeah, I'm going there. I'm going to go there because we family. We family. And as family, we go here. This is a journey for me, too. Don't get it twisted. Okay. You can't connect fully emotionally or receive that. Or for some of y'all, for that matter, trust your intuition because you're afraid to be alone. For some of you. Because some of y'all got people walking into you, especially if you're married to a Virgo or a Taurus. These people are walking all over you. And spirit has done everything to try to push you out the door. But you keep giving yourself up. Your power up to these people. Strong Scorpio emphasis too, baby. You want this new beginning. <laughs> but you got to be real with yourself. It's time to heal. Why are you not speaking? Why are you not talking about something that you want as well, but you're afraid of what everybody else going to say? <laughs> Why? It's not the time for that. Literally, spirit trying to open the door for something beautiful for you. What are you going to? What are you going to? Allow, what are you going to allow in your life? You got a choice, and it's a destined choice. It's infinite, baby. Some of y'all are killing generational curses. Some of you have children with people, and you're not dealing with these people because of a fear that they're gonna come back. And, and you looking at it like you're protecting. You're protecting your family. But you're imprisoning yourself mentally. And you're not even speaking about it. Let go of what, what, what once was. For some of you, you need to walk away from jobs. You got stressful, toxic ass people that is really dragging you down. And trust the spirit is going to give you a new, better job. Well, hell, you might even open your own business because I see the I see the energy of y'all being and thought about opening your own business here too. Trust yourself. Are you afraid of winning? Are you afraid of your own? Are you afraid that you might actually fucking be happy? What you scared of, Aquarius? Ain't nothing to fear but fear itself. Remember that. This is what I have for you guys for that Aries full moon. That energy is going to pack a punch. But remember, Aries first. It's the season of the new. We starting over. We pressing rewind and not accepting bullshit. We know where the bullshit coming, where it's coming from, who it's coming from. Now what are we going to do about it? Okay? I love y'all. This is what I have for my air signs. With this Aries full moon bonus edition. If you need them personals, hit me up. We went home today. I love y'all. Much love, much light, many blessings. Namaste, babes.